cool. Yeah, so last week we had uh, Miguel and we spoke about mental health awareness and its importance in like the black and brown community. So we've seen the work you've done. Uh, the first question I have for you is, you know, you've been front and center when it comes to like, all the protests in Philly. So how important it is, it, is it for someone of your stature to be involved in the community in such a way? And I think it's super important on just, uh, you know, having notoriety and also having kind of a brand and a following, you know, you want your, your, your brand to be something that you stand for. So, you know, for me personally, being out there at the protests and being part of it, it's, it's all about the unity and it's all about being part of what we will consider history when we're looking for equality and a lot of different factors of things we're trying to gain from from protests and whatnot. So right, as right. a as an athlete, as a role model, as someone with the following, someone with a platform, I just think it's important to stand for something and to be able to support your people with it too. And for me, that's what it was all about. And I wanted to really um, be a part of that because at some point in time, I want my kids to know, hey, this is what happened you know, during the pandemic of 2020. Mm -hmm. And this is where actual change happened from. So I, I also want to be part of history and be part of the change. Yeah, definitely be on like the right side. And, you know, for your kids to see like their role model doing the right thing too. So a lot of people who get like affected by the, the decisions you make. So they've all been great. So for sure. Yeah. So how has the conversation in the league been around like social justice and things of that nature man it's been it's been good if you um i i would say the nba is one of the most progressive leagues mm -hmm. in terms of allowing players to have a voice and i would put the WNBA in there too maybe even in front of us because honestly the the women of that play that game have first for a long period of time been yeah. extremely vocal and they kind of set the tone for us to to speak up and be vocal too. And the league has given us that opportunity and that backing. And our conversations have been have been really productive and things we want to see happen. Guys being able to uplift their voice, have confidence in one another. Mm -hmm. And though we go out there on the floor and we compete against each other and you know we want to win as much as anything, we know sure. outside of this game, we're pushing for a greater message. And a greater standing. And I think that's the beauty of it. Oh, yeah, definitely. And then um, I know you're big on education. Mm -hmm. So I know Players Tribune, you had an article based on like, you know, some of the things you aren't taught, just going through like elementary school, you know, middle school and things like that. So what's your take on education and how important it is for the community? Man, I, I just think it's super important for our young youth to be educated, to know who they are, um, in the article, I, I touched on just the history element of it, and there's many more elements, but that was one for me personally that I didn't know until I actually had to do my own research. Right. And uh, I think that's where we kind of lose sight of things. We're kind of brainwashed in the system of what's already been processed and taught to us, mm -hmm. when in reality, we don't spend enough time on our history. And you know, you know, you can look at it both ways. Hey, that's on the school, but that's also on parenting to also teach their kids their history. And I look, I, I, I look at it both ways too, and looked at myself as, hey, I need to do my own research. But I think that's an element that we can, moving forward, incorporate into our education curriculums for our kids, um, because it's a crucial time in their life where they're able to be in class around other people and you know no one forgets their school days you know yeah. i can remember in elementary school middle high school it's like a huge mm -hmm. um stepping stone in in a young individual's life so i think education is is key in learning our history yeah and even college where it's like you know you can take a new step each level you go up and you know what that means for your own education and as it's funny you mentioned that too because even like on juneteenth how to Google it, just to understand like the significance of the date. And you know, if those things or even little things like that were included in the curriculum for us, then more uh, people would see like, 
people that look like you and I doing like amazing things in history. Yeah, and uh, you know, like you just touched on Juneteenth, it, but it's another thing that we for so long haven't heard about. Mm -hmm. But it's also on us as individuals being educated enough to educate others. And I think that's a key is like, we, we also, when we learn something, we need to pass it on to who's next, like our friends. Our conversations need to be more impactful with one another instead of, hey, did you see this on Instagram or this on Twitter or, mm -hmm. or this person trolling that person? So I think we could all try to level up in some way to help the next, to help our youth, to help everyone who's coming up. Yeah, for sure. And then um, how important is it, is it for you to see, like, when you go into the classroom and see, like, the kids and, like, you know, in, in the inner city, see, like, teachers that look like them? It, it's, uh, it's vital. Um, you know, there's, there's actually some real studies out there that are showing that when African-Americans, young, young Black male and females are educated by another African-American figure, whether that be Black I mean, whether that be male or female, mm -hmm. that the graduation rate increases. And, you know, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. So I'm, all, I'm a numbers guy in a lot of things. And when you show that type of data, it's important. And it's important for us to support our African-American teachers because they're, they are a huge piece of our young, our young youth success. And I think that the more support we can get towards them, the better conditions that they can get as working in these schools and being not opposed to not being a teacher, but saying, hey, I'm going to go out and be a teacher because I know that this young youth needs me in some type of way. Um, I, I, I try to do a lot to support um, our African-American teachers across the across Philadelphia. And it's uh, the, the data is there. And I think it's important. Definitely. And then uh, lastly, take me through uh, Mary McLeod Bethel, a school in Philly, and its importance to you. So it's a school that I've been working with for some time since I, I've gotten Philly. And um, one thing that we're establishing there is the Tobias Lit Labs. Mm -hmm. So this donation will also be able to push that forward even more. And Tobias Lit Labs is basically an incorporation of a space where kids can, during school, you know, we're hoping that we can get back to school in a safe environment, but they're able to go in and, um, you know, read. And it's it's for literacy. It's for them continuing to look at reading as something that's fun, something that's cool, and to just have a fun experience while they're there. So um, that's where uh, this donation will go to. And um, I'm extremely excited for that because I know the schools will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I also know the kids are going to fall in love with some of the features that are in the lit lab that they can um, continue to have fun with. So it's going to be awesome. Cool. So this is probably my favorite part of the interview. I'm going to pull out the checkbook. Okay. Oh, oh wow. We got big checks over here. You know, so hey, I see that. Hey, that's what's up, man. I reverse, but you know, 10,000. Yeah. Oh. Hey, the kids are going to love that. Man. The kids <laughs> are going to love that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And yeah, just keep up the great work, you know, here at Finish Line and JD wants to be transparent as far as like where the money is getting donated to versus just like one blanket donation to like BLM. Yeah. So being able to like, you know, learn about Mary uh, McLeod and the work mm -hmm. in the community, that's how we're able to like, you know, pick and choose these uh, foundations and charities to help out. So Man, yeah. that's really awesome. You know, you uh, with everything going on, it's uh, it's easy to just hey stroke a check in here, but to be able to make it personal with yeah. you know, people like myself and other individuals that you've had on, and to be able to know like hey this is going to something that we know is going to make an impact towards our kids going forward, is huge and it's inspiring too. So I I appreciate that and I know the school will appreciate it, the city of Philadelphia will appreciate it, and it's yeah. uh you know just a great look. Yeah, our pleasure. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, of course. You got a game later today? Yes, sir. Last one before the playoffs. So oh, we already good then. You already seated and all that, right? Yeah, yeah. So we straight. We're ready. So this is more like a rest day for you now. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs>
All right, brother, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Peace. Peace.